Well, hey there. Hey, this is Bobby, aka Paginator, and I'm here today to do a Wizarding World unboxing. Yay! This box is the November Wizarding World Loot Crate box. And yeah, I said November. It was supposed to ship out in November, but unfortunately they had a delay with one of their items. And so it's here now. But it's in time for Christmas, so that's all that matters, right? Okay. Now, I have to tell you before I open it, the little sticker on here says, I solemnly swear I am up to no good. Makes my heart feel good just looking at it. All right, and here we go. I almost looked before I opened it for you guys. How dare I? <gasps> Ooh, I see blue things. Okay, let's find out what this is. <gasps> it's a shirt. Yes. It is, look at that beautiful mess. It's the Whomping Willow. Ah! That's so pretty. And it says printed with glow in the dark ink. Now I can't really show you that because even if I turn off all the lights in here, it wouldn't be dark enough to glow because it's just not that dark. But holy cow, that's a beautiful shirt. My students are gonna wig out when it, I'm totally wearing this on Monday and they're gonna freak. Oh, yay, I'm so excited already. Uh -huh. It was worth waiting just for this shirt. All right, I'm seeing a couple things here. I don't know what to look at first. Oh, 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 oh. Goodness. Look at this. Grim old place. I just, what a cute little pouch. Look, it says Grimmauld Place on both sides. And it has a very handy zipper. And let's see what's inside it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Holy cow. This is amazing. Okay, hang on a second. Let me... So you open it up and it becomes this giant bag. That's so cool. And then you can tuck it back inside to the pouch. Who would have thought? What a clever idea. You can never have too many bags, especially not too many Harry Potter related bags. This is amazing. My niece is going to freak out when she sees this bag. She had a school teacher that loved Harry Potter almost as much as I do. And so she knows a lot more about Harry Potter now. Plus she's starting to read the books and watch the movies for herself. And my nephew's the same thing. <sighs> They're going to love that. Okay. Not that they can have it. All right. The next thing that I see. Oh, this is a fantastic beasts item. Let me get out of the plastic for you so you can see it better. All right, that's pretty, pretty, pretty artwork. And the and the top of the case says lips that charm. Ugh. I'm trying to get this open without giving myself paper cuts because as a teacher, I give myself paper cuts all the time with grading papers or creating assignments or whatever, and I am sick of paper cuts. So, all right, here we go. So we've got several different coasters, well they're all the same print, but quite a few coasters in here. And it says on the back, Pinnock's Giggle Water, Liquid Glee. Remember that's what they um, drank when they were in the pub looking for leads on their missing creature. And it was called the Blind Pig. Awesome! That's so much fun. Now, of course, I don't love the uh, Fantastic Beasts as much as Harry Potter because we just don't have all of the Fantastic Beast stuff out yet. But aren't they so well done? I mean, the first movie I thought was fantastic, and I love how we're going back in time and learning about 
Grindelwald and, or Grindelwald, excuse me, that Dumbledore battled. So eventually we get to see Dumbledore again in these stories. So it's just going to be so much fun. All right. What is this? This, who knows? We shall have to open it to see. Okay, so this is made by Jack Mel Jewelry. And when we open it up, we see... <gasps> it's the Triwizard Cup. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Let me get it as close as I can for you. How cool. This is a brooch. Uh, how am I going to wear this? Or sh what shall I attach it to? That's the problem with getting too many... Harry Potter things, well, you can never have too many, but when you have plenty, where do you put them all? Must think very carefully. Surely I have some kind of teacher outfit that could use a brooch. Hmm. Okay. Um. Too many things to look at. What in the world is this? Okay. Oh, I know what this is. These are magnets that spell out Tom Marvolo Riddle, and you can rephrase them to say, I am Lord Voldemort. It is pop-out magnet. So this is from the Chamber of Secrets. Remember when Tom spelled out his name and, did, and it turned into I am Lord Voldemort? Cool. I have a student whose favorite character is Voldemort. She is going to love looking at this. Um, yeah. Now, we've got... Oh, okay. So this is a paper that tells about what's inside the box. I haven't finished opening things yet, so I don't want to look at that quite yet. And last item... Here says Harry Potter frame with storage. So we have this frame that literally has storage. And so I believe that that is a room of requirement. Am I right? Now it's hard to show without the light glaring and catching this, but this is a true Harry Potter theme picture frame because the person moves back and forth. That's a cool frame. All right, now, the last thing in the box is a hint card, and it says they don't want fruitcake. So I'm guessing this is a hint for the January box. And there's also a subscription code, like discount code, but I'm already subscribed, so don't need that. Cool. Now, before I sign off on this, I am going to show you the inside of the box. Loot Crate always has fun things inside their box. So we have the Marauder's Map here. That is so stinking cute. Oh. Okay. So... Once again, Loot Crate has done a wonderful job with their Wizarding World box, and I'm super excited to use all of these items, and I, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. I think my favorite item in this is the shirt, and then maybe second place would be the brooch, or the magnets, or the pouch that turns inside it. Oh gosh, I don't know. There's so many things to choose from. I am going to be having a few more unboxings, hopefully pretty soon on this channel, maybe even as soon as the same day that this video uploads, because all these boxes seem to arrive at one time, and I am expecting at least one box that is Akatar themed. So keep watching my channel if you are interested in, in seeing more unboxings and or book hauls and or reading miscellaneous stuff. As always, have a lovely day. Happy reading. Adios.